Hello and welcome to Online Equestrian Lessons. I'm Katie and we are going to be starting a video series on different types of snaffle bits and how they're used. So if you're just not quite sure kind of what bit is best for your horse, uh, keep watching and hopefully we can help you out. Hello and welcome back to our video series. So in this video we're going to be going over different types of snaffle bits and I'm going to be showing you uh, from the most mild to the more severe types of snaffles. So a really great bit that I like to use, um, really kind of my go-to bit, uh, this bit's great for young horses, it's great for horses that have a sensitive mouth. Um, you can use this bit in um, a hunter jumper, you can use this bit in dressage, um, so it's just a really great bit to have on hand. So this is an egg butt snaffle, and what that means is that the the side of the mouthpiece here is sort of shaped like an egg, and then it's also fixed. So there's nothing here as long as the bit fits correctly that's really going to pinch your horse. And then this mouthpiece in particular is, an, is called an oval mouthpiece or a bean mouth snaffle. So it's got, it's double jointed, and it's got a piece in the middle that's shaped like an oval. And then this bit also, I don't know if you can really see how curved this is. And that's just really gonna lay nicely over the, um, the bars and the tongue in your horse's mouth. And the bean mouth in the center with it being double jointed is really gonna take the nutcracker effect out of a, of a, that a regular snaffle bit might create. So this is a very gentle, very mild, soft bit that you can use for your horse. Okay, so then, Moving on sort of up the line here, we have another oval mouth snaffle bit. And as you can see, the nice curve in this one as well, it's really gonna lay nicely on your horse, in your horse's mouth. This bit is also copper. And horses really like the taste of copper. It will also really help them salivate so that the bit can just move nicely in their mouth. It will keep them soft and supple and really help them, them accept, accept the bit well. So if you have a horse that's um, kind of having a little bit of a hard time taking to the bit, uh, a copper mouthpiece might be a really good option. So then we see a different type of um, cheek piece. So this cheek piece is a loose ring, or you might call it an O-ring snaffle. So this means that this bit has just a ring that, that can float and move. So say when you pick up on the rein, it's, it's going to be able to move in, in your horse's mouth. And this bit is really good for helping horses to really stay supple and um, and just really give well and go around on the bit. Um, so this is a really good uh, bit for dressage or if you're really wanting to get your horse supple. Uh, the only thing you do have to watch is that your horse's uh, cheeks aren't getting pinched in here. So if you start seeing that your horse is getting little rub marks on the side of his mouth, um, you might want to up the size of your bit, make sure your bit is fitting correctly. Um, and if you're training at home, you can even add some bit guards just to help with that. Uh, but this is just a really good, uh, very gentle bit to use on your horse. Okay, so then we're going to go on um, to another sort of um, bit that's good for horses that have a really sensitive mouth, and that's gonna be a rubber bit. So this is also an O-ring snaffle, so it's got the, um, the, um, the O-ring cheek piece, but then this bit ha is covered in rubber, and uh, these bits are good for the horses that are just really, uh, have really sensitive bars of their mouth, and they're just super sensitive. Um, now the only thing with a rubber bit is I feel like a lot of times they're just so bulky in the horse's mouth, especially if your horse has a low palate. So in that case, you might want to go with a happy mouth bit. And the happy mouth bits, I don't have one here to show you, but they have a really soft plastic coating over the uh, metal. So that can just help your horse to, um, to just be more comfortable in the bit. And then this one is a, um, just a regular staffle bit. So it's got one one break in the center. Okay, so then we have another really common seam bit, and this is also an egg butt snaffle, but it just has a single joint in the middle. Um, so this bit's also really commonly used. Um, I'll talk about the uses of these in another video, but this is just an egg butt snaffle. You'll see those a lot in tack shops and things. 
Um, you can use that bit in dressage, you can use it in hunter jumper, things like that. Um, now a really commonly bit that's seen in the hunter jumper world is a D-ring snaffle or a hunter D. And that, the, the cheek piece looks like a D. And this bit is really good for horses that, um, that are needing some help and training with turning. So say if your horse, you know, when you go to turn him, the bit slides through his mouth, this shape um, that has sort of this straight bar here is really gonna help to prevent the bit from sliding into his mouth and also to kind of help push his face and turn him a little bit better. And then this bit is just a, a regular single jointed bit. So this is a great bit if you're doing a hunter jumper or even just schooling, okay? All right, so then uh, let's go to the to the very commonly seen bit, and this is just a regular O-ring snaffle, single jointed. Um, so you'll you'll see these a lot. You can get these at Tractor Supply. Um, just a very common bit, and it is uh, curved nicely to sit in the horse's mouth. But I'll talk about the I'll talk about all these uh, bits and sort of their uses in another video. Okay, so. Um, then we have the tra what I call a training bit, um, but this is a full cheek snaffle bit, and as you can see, it's a single jointed snaffle. Um, but this bit has long bars on either side of the horse's face, and it's got these little nubs here. So if you have a horse that is just really hard to turn, and say say you may be training him. Um, for whatever reason, you're just having a hard time turning or your bit is sliding through the mouth, this will stop the bit from sliding through the mouth and it will also kind of push his face and help him to turn better. So that's a really good bit for training. Um, and then you can also get this bit in copper and that will just really help um, help your horse to accept the bit. And you can also get different uh, mouthpieces in most any snaffle bit that you find. Uh, there's different mouthpieces for different uh, different uses. Okay, so then going on to probably one of the more severe um, snaffle bits that you're gonna see. This is an egg butt snaffle, but this bit is a twisted uh, mouthpiece. So as you can see, the metal has lots of twists in it, and then this bit in particular also has these ridges, and that's really going to create a lot of pressure on the bars of your horse's mouth and on the tongue, especially where these flat ridges are. So this bit can be very severe. Um, so you definitely want to consult an instructor or a trainer um, and, you know, make sure that this bit would be right for you and, and that you know how to use it um, so it wouldn't, you know, so it wouldn't be too dangerous, especially, um, and, and hurt your horse. But this bit can be very effective if you have a horse that uh, really needs more control. So this is a twisted wire. Um, so it's a good bit to have on hand for training. And then this is a Western D snaffle bit. And as you can see, the shape on the side is a little bit like a D. And this bit also has a nice flat piece here, so it will sort of prevent the bit from, um, from pinching the sides of your horse's mouth. Um, but this is really commonly seen in the Western world. And then this bit has um, little ridges in it that are uh, that have copper inlays to just help the horse kind of accept the bit better. Um, and then I'm gonna show you straight out of the package, I get that back on. Um, this bit, the first bit again. Um, this bit is actually from uh, JP uh, Core Steel. And um, this is a six inch bit. Most horses take about a five and a half, uh, but I always go up a size for the bigger ones. Um, so this, this bit is the oval mouth. It's just nicely curved. And if you're just looking for a really good bit to start in, this bit runs about, I think, $32. And I think you just can't go wrong with these bits. They're just really, really good bits to use, uh, really gentle. So I hope that kind of helps give you kind of a look at some different types of bits that might work for you and your horse. Um, we're going to go over in our next video of um, how the snaffle bits are used. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. <laughs>